Hey guys, so welcome back to part four, <laughs> part four of the collection video. Um, I'm pretty sure I said part four when it was actually supposed to be part three in the last one. Um, you didn't miss one. That was my own fault. I told you guys I'm sick, not feeling well, and I need a nap. So um, I'm a little bit more clear headed now. So hopefully this will go a little bit better. Okay, so we ended up last on this um, one all the way down there. So now we are up here and I will go ahead and show you what's inside. Okay, so I realize the lighting isn't very good. Uh, but we will just try to do what we can here. Sorry. I'm not good with the camera either. All right So this is obviously super tarts. So this is like the biggest uh, Drawer unit that I have and I thought it would be good to put in the cookies and the extra stuff that I've have gotten from super tarts over the years So I put these two baskets in here because of these smaller shapes um, it just looked a mess. So I figured since the drawer is big enough to get some baskets and put them to the side and see if I can get the shapes in there. And I did, thank God. <laughs> so, um, these were from the Christmas in July special. Um, I don't know why I got so many because to be honest with you, I really don't reach for super tarts that often. Um, especially some of these scents that I'm not like super familiar with. I, they smell fine. They smell good. Um, but there was nothing that really stood out to me that was like, oh my god, you know. Um, I really don't know why I got so many. I think it was just like the heat of the moment and it was one of those um, ready to ship type sale deals. So like you had to get in and get out. So I think I kind of just got up in all of the hype, which is something I really need to work on because I tend to do that sometimes. Um, even though it's, you know, really not the best decision because it's just something that I, I may not reach for all the time. Um... Now, Super Tarts does do pretty well for me. I have gotten decent scent throws. Um, I do think that some of her, um, some of her stuff is kind of just like middle of the road, you know, not, how do I explain it? Like her blends are very unique. Like I'll give her that. She has some of the most unique blends out there, um, especially if you like cleaner, outdoorsy, um, earthy type of deals. Like she's really good in that aspect. She's good with bakery scents too. I'm not going to lie. Um, but a lot of them I feel like aren't blended well and the oils that she uses, I feel like aren't that great. Um, so that's why I'm really not crazy about super tarts. Like I used to be when I first got back into wax, super tarts was the most one that was recommended to me all the time. So I placed very large orders thinking that it was going to be great. And back then it was great, um, because I didn't really know what else was out there, but comparing it now to the 60 other vendors that I've tried, I'm not saying she's bad, but there's definitely vendors that I prefer more over her. Um, however, she's a wonderful person. She's a wonderful human being. She's so funny and so nice, and she is, like, super well-known in the wax community. Um, you know, she's a very sweet person that has nothing to do with her. It's, it's just customer speaking on the products is really what it is at the end of the day. Um, so that's really my, my take on Super Tarts. Now, I also wanted to mention that her... This is a little bit different because normally I say that stuff in scent shots or clamshells normally lasts longer than things that are in bags. Um, I do feel like these transfer scents really easily and the clamshells really break down over time. Um, the first run of scent shot or scent shots, the clamshells that I've gotten have been broken down, I would say, within the first year that I got them. It's like the oil seep through. So when I say breaking down, I legit mean breaking down. So I had to take all of my clams out of the clamshells and put them into bags, um, which you'll see in a little while. I had taken out so many that I felt like just didn't have a scent anymore, um, ones that I just didn't care for anymore. There were so many. Um, the, at, at one point, I think I had over 60 clamshells from Super Tarts, and now I'm probably down to maybe... 15 or 20. So, uh, lesson learned. Um, now the stuff that comes in bags, most of them are still good. Most of them are still okay. There's been a couple of them that have transferred since, but it's really not that bad. And then over here are the cookies that I've gotten. So the cookies to me, I feel like at some point probably will transfer scents. These are pretty much brand new, so they're okay right now. Um, I tried to get an amount that I could probably get through within the next year or so, and I think I did a pretty good job on that. Um, I did get some that were new to me, so I got some more like extra ones that I wasn't really planning on buying, but ones that sounded really good. And this is also why I went with the cookies, because they were the smallest thing that I could get that wasn't a clamshell. I did not want any more clamshells. Um, but I really wanted certain scents that she had that I could not 
get from some other vendor. Um, so that's why I opted for the cookies. I don't do BAM bags or sidekicks or anything like that anymore because I just won't get through it fast enough and it's going to lose its scent and it's going to break down and it's not going to be any good within the next year or so, for me anyways. Um, so I do have a decent amount of cookies. I really don't know how many there are here. Um, they do go all the way back, as you can see. So a decent amount, not a lot, but a decent amount. And then here is the other basket it has smaller shapes in it. Um, so, like I said, 99% of these are all from the Christmas in July sale that she was having. And then some of them are from the Fright Night box that I got. I miss the old labels, too. These labels, I mean, I realized that she didn't really have a choice and she had to change them. But, I don't know, I really miss the old labels. They were so cute. I know some people thought they were corny and cheesy, but I thought they were really cute. <laughs> I think everything I have now does have these labels on them besides the clamshells because I haven't bought any clamshells and I don't know how long. All right, so that's that drawer. And then this drawer is actually empty. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> All right. Then this next one is my first drawer of Rose Girls. So this is the one drawer and then the next three cart down there is also all Rose Girls. So Rose Girls by far one of my favorite vendors i love her bakery scents she has some amazing blends i always get a decent scent throw i think really the lightest one that i've ever gotten was like a light to medium throw and even that i totally wasn't bothered by um so this is the call what i call the chunky drawer so it's all chunky stuff so i have pies over here so i have two in that one i think there's that one's still a whole half pie i have another whole half pie down there i think i have three half pies that are still whole I think um and then I have like single pie slices back here that one I think still has two the one behind it I think still has two some of these I got as gifts as well yeah there's still two in that one and then I have the two in my apple fritter puff, puff carbs and then I have one in uh, Franken our strawberry Frankenberry cream cheese waffle cone. This is freaking amazing. Um, and then I have a vanilla sandalwood campfire marshmallow. I have a grease lightning, which is one of my favorites. And then I have Koopa Claus is coming to town, and uh, Koopa Claus needs a latte. Those are all my favorites, besides carbs and you know stuff like that. So these are all the muffins that I have. Um, I think I have a, mm, I think I counted them. I think I have around thirty something, forty something muffins. So, um, I honestly don't love the way that this is stored. It looks so messy. I hate it. Um, but there is really no other way to go about it. So, honestly, I try to just, you know, do this when I can. Kind of stack them up. Make them look a little bit more presentable. So, you guys can really see everything that's in here. Um, I just used my Coupe Claus Needs a Latte the other day. Amazing. <clears throat> Which I was hoarding that for I don't know how long. Like, I think I have two little chunks like the little sampler chunks that are like that big. Um, I think one or two muffins and then I have the pie. So I finally started melting it when I got the pie. I know, ridiculous. Um, funnel cake, cream cheese, uh, pretzels is a really good one. I mean, these are all good. That's why they're still in here. Um, rosemary mint peeps cake is amazing. Of course, my any vanilla sandalwood campfire marshmallow blend is perfect. Um, espresso, sugar cookie dough, wackatoodle. I think I have a few of those actually. Um, I, again, with this one as well, espresso Gilligan's Rue Pie Custom Peeps Cake. Um, another espresso one. Let's see if I can find some other ones in here. Zucchini Nilla Noel. I'm pretty sure I have two of those. I think I have two. Um, lemon Sugar Milk Nilla Noel. I have been hoarding this for I don't know how long. Um, it's a really good one. Um, Extreme Strawberry Jam Cotton Candy Twinkies is another favorite. I love her strawberry jam scents. Especially mixed with her cup of cake, like the Grease Lightning. <gasps> I have never had a scent like that from anybody. She is the only one that I've ev ever found a scent like that from. Um, Mocha Truffle Campfire Marshmallows is amazing. This is the Serendipity one, I believe. Yeah, Serendipity Cheesecake. I love the colors and everything about them. There's another zucchini. We have the Crooked Broomstick, which is amazing. Um, I don't even know what's in there, but I'm obsessed with it. And I'm hoarding that until I can get some more. Um, there's another Funnel Peak one. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get some scents out for you so you can kind of see, you know. 
Um, Save the Drama for Your Mama is amazing, which is just um, vanilla sandalwood, campfire marshmallows, and pink sugar. Um, butterscotch, cream soda, and waffle cone. Now, this is one I thought I wasn't going to like because I don't do soda scents. But when I did that swap with Jenny, who's the owner, um, she opened my eyes. So I'm going to have to try some more of those. Um, Fireside Fluff Puffs is, oh, that's a good one. Anything with Fluff Puffs I love. All right, so that's the first drawer of Rose Girls. All right, now here we have the second drawer. So these are all mini melters. So let me get down to this level. We'll crack. All right. So this is really the best way that I knew how to organize them is really just standing them up. Now, um, I don't do anything else really besides bakery, coffee, a tiny bit of fruity, and a little bit of fruity bakery. So besides some masculine scents. So I really don't need to, you know, go crazy like organizing them by scent because it doesn't really matter. Um, if there is something that's super strong, like a peppermint or a lavender, I will put that to the side, although I'm so over lavender scents. I took out, like, every lavender blend that I have, and I put it to the side in my um, to-sell things, boxes, whatever you want to call them. So, all right, so we can go through some of these, too. Um, Starbeans Cafe Bread, Cotton Candy Frosting, Swizzle Stick. So these are pretty much all, most of them are, like, just single scents. Macintosh Madness. Um, serendipity, cherry cheesecake, absolute wackadoodle monster cookie, sugar cookie dough, uh, big zucchini bread, streusel kitchen. Oh, that's a good one. They're all so good. Caramel corn fluff puffs, um, caramel toffee sugar cookie dough cups is amazing. Strawberry apple crisp is really good. Jumping on espresso clouds is amazing. Opposite of keto, amazing. Cotton candy frosting and marshmallow smoothie is really good. Um, caramel tobacco, piece of cake, uh, caffeine queen. Oh, there's just so many. <laughs> I really don't know. There's just a lot. Um, vanilla supreme, vanilla sandalwood, campfire marshmallow, monster cookie fluff puffs is will always be a favorite. Um, jacked up, jumping on strawberry clouds. Let's see. Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting, Strawberry Shortcake, um, Bonfire Bliss, Monster Cookie, and Snickerdoodle. That one I still have yet to try. Um, serendipity. I love mixing Serendipity and Strawberry together. It's like such a good blend. If you haven't tried that yet, you really should. Uh, let's see. Dunk My Donut Cup of Cake Noel. Dunk My Donut is also like freaking phenomenal where I can't find another one just like it. Carbs, of course. High crust, of course. <laughs> so that's that drawer. All right, here is the third drawer. So this one has my Mario Melters chunk bags, since I couldn't fit them in the chunky drawer, and um, mini melters that are in the smaller bags. Now, there's two reasons why they're in small bags. One, because when I um, started first buying, when I first started buying from Rose Girls, when I would get really low on something, I would switch it into these smaller bags because they would. Um, just take up less room and they're easier to store. And then um, Jenny also started doing samplers with bags like these. So that's where those come from as well. So these are just some more mini melters. So we have um, cup of cake, jelly donut, strawberry jam and vanilla crunch donuts, fresh baked bread, marshmallow smoothie, um, cider delight and vanilla crunch donuts, absolute fluff puffs, vanilla crunch donuts, dunk my donut, Gilligan's brew and peeps cake, Strawberry jam, marshmallow smoothie, and a baked zucchini bread. Another fresh baked bread. Oh, I could put those together, actually. Um, fresh picked strawberries, vanilla ice cream, waffle cone. Snickerdoodle lattes, vanilla Noel cookies, cotton candy frosting, peeps cake. Strawberry shortcakes, was a six peeps cake. Um, lemon snowdrop cookies. So these are the chunk bags that I put into smaller ones. Um, coffee pumpkin bread with coconut drizzle. I still need to try that one. I think I got that one from Devin. Um, jelly donut carbs, and then here are some of the Mario melters. So manic, or man, uh, manic Mario madness. I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, I think they're all in back here. Let's see. I'm so sorry, guys. I know this is so shaky and awful. Um, we have a blueberry muffin, pumpkin pecan waffles, and vanilla crunch donuts. Toadstool trifectica. Um, Cookie Land. I think this is Princess. Yeah, Princess It's Cold Outside. Um, Choco Mountain. 
Jumping on Clouds, of course. Um, let's see, Star Beans Cafe. Um, Nilla, no uh, Nilla Strawberry Noel Fluff Puffs. Cookie Dough Waffle Cone Macadoodle. Let's see, Espresso Dunk My Donut Nilla Wafers and Rice Krispie Treats. Apple Fritter Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. That is freaking so good. Another Nilla Strawberry Noel, which is a favorite. Um, lemon Fluff Puffs and Sugar Cookie Dough. That's another um, extreme. What is this? Oof. This is so hard. Espresso, fennel cake, and extreme Twinkies. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to the fourth and final drawer of Rose Girls. All right, so here is the rest of my Rose Girls. So for this one, um, I actually used to have the muffins down here just because I wanted to keep all the smaller things together. And I actually really did like how it looked, but it was blocking all of these. And I knew for the video that, you know, it just, it wasn't going to look right. I was going to have to move stuff around. So I might change it back. I'm really not sure yet. Um, but these are like samples that I would get, whether it be in kahuna boxes or just samples from whatever. So these are all mini melters. So like from starting here up till right here. And then I get um, some shapes. So like Cookie Land, um, Cherry Marshmallow. Some of these came in kahuna boxes, you know. Um, this one was from the first box I ever got was Fresh Picked Strawberries and I still have it. Apple s'mores, a snickerdoodle, cotton candy frosting. Um, so we have some really cute shapes here. And then the rest of these are all chunks that I've gotten from samplers or kahuna boxes. Um, so I remember I bought, I think, two coffee samplers. And I think, what was the other chunk one? Oh my God, I can't remember. I think it was like Heavy Bakery or something. I can't remember. Um, but let's go through some scents. So we have strawberry buttercream carbs, white chocolate mocha, Queen Bay and mocha truffles. Um... Strawberry coconut and jello fluff puffs, sugared apple and strawberry birthday cake, um, bear claws and absolute coffee, blueberry sugar corn pudding donuts. I honestly forgot that I get a lot of these. <laughs> you can't beat a Boptka. <clears throat> absolute coffee and French baguette, powdered sugar, espresso carbs. So, um, I mean, it obviously goes without saying that I love Rose Girls. I don't have anything bad to say. I think Jenny is a kick-ass freaking owner. Um, I think she handles so much stuff all by herself with a daughter that she's raising as well as adorable little puppy dog. Oh my god. If you guys have her on um, Facebook, her dog is oh, the cutest thing ever. So cute. I'm so jealous of her dog. <laughs> um, she obviously has some amazing blends and I really like the way that she has the company set up because you can do pre-orders or you can wait and do the ready to ship stuff um, that she'll have left over. She does kahuna boxes, she does samplers, she does um, the pies, the muffins, the mini melters, the Mario melters. Like, there's so much stuff that she does, and I really like the way that her business model is set up. Okay, so let's get back to the rest of the collection. Alright, so before we get into the rest of the drawers, I wanted to show these boxes. So I have two of these decorative boxes. I have one here and one on the other side. So this these house my samples so samples that I feel like are going to be in the way or if I have to take out in order to make room for a new order this is where they go so not every sample I have are in these boxes because some of them um, I can just fit with the rest of the order like if I only ordered once or if I didn't get a lot or whatever um, but the bigger area that that vendor needs the the more out I'm to put samples in here also it kind of helps because when I do do these stashes or gifts or giveaways or whatever I can just go in here pull out a sample a couple samples and throw them in super easy um, and also if I want something to melt I can just go in here and pick something at random if I don't feel like going through all the drawers so we have some from um closet full of wax we have some from Simo, um K's uh, tea Time Tarts, let's see here, more Simo, I think, I can't remember if I put the Bathing Garden ones in here or not, um, Satin Susie, yeah I do, the Bathing Garden, um, some from Unique Creations, which these are actually samples, this is an order that I placed, um, but I just don't have room for it, and um, I didn't save very much out of it. So Unique Creations, really quick. Um, I did make an order, so I guess I should say it. Um, I've talked about this before, but I will never order from Unique Creations again. 
Uh, one, her wax really isn't that great. She didn't really know what bags to use, and um, the labels were really weird, no pour dates. Everything was really messy for the most part. Um, some things smell good, most things did not. Um, and when I voiced my opinion on her wax, uh, she did not appreciate it. She took my video and put it into her group. I don't know if she realized that I was in her group or not. Um, and she tried to debunk everything that I was saying, saying that she did use the right bags and I was wrong. And, you know, it was really, really messy, really dumb. <laughs> like, there was no reason for it. I tried to defend myself, but there was a bunch of her friends or whoever they were that kind of came after me. And um, they started leaving comments on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, on my personal Facebook account, which was so unnecessary. Um, she tried to apologize a bunch of times, and I was just kind of like, okay, whatever, you know, like, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. She ended up sending me a gift card that did not work, you know, like, it, it is what it is. So, yeah, I have ordered from her before, but I never will again. Okay, um, some more Simo, some more Bathing Garden. I think that's really what takes up most of this one. I will go ahead and show you the other one, too, of course. But I think it's really those vendors that take up the, the most of this. All right, so let's really quickly go into the other one. All right, so here is the other box. So in here we have Silkies, um, Destination Wax, uh, Sweet Sage, Ava's, uh, Baird's Wax Crafts. Let's see here. Um, Beezies, oh, that can actually go in that drawer. Let's see. Uh, Rainbow Melts. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma. So there's all kinds of stuff in here, you know, just random samples. Um, that one's from Sunny Bee Sense Scoopables. So yeah, there's a bunch. Alright, let's get on to the rest of the drawers. Okay, so starting up here, this is the first drawer of my bathing garden. So this only has four things in it. It has the Jumbo Flower and the Jumbo Clamshell. So I have um, Bunny Whisker, Sugar Pad Crust, and... Oh, what's this one called? I forgot. It's a cookie one. Um, love cookie. So, um, yeah, I just needed a place to put these. And since the one down here is also the bathing garden, I figured it'd be good. So this one has all of my bathing garden shapes in it. So I did originally have my bathing garden and an under the bed organizer. Um, but I needed those for something else that I had more of. So I took, you know, everything out, reorganized it. It's all good. I like it. I like it this way, actually. Um, so these are some candy apples, which these are my favorite things ever. Like, I like these more than I like her clamshells, which is crazy. Um, but these are just the prettiest things I think I've ever seen in wax. They're gorgeous. They're so cute. And I love the bathing garden. I love um, that you could do pre-orders and you can get as much as you want. Um, I like that she also does kind of ready to ship and you can get stuff that way. She does body care. Her body care is amazing. Her sugar scrubs are some of my favorite things ever. Um, so I really love her wax and, um, she's such a sweet person too, obviously. Like she's one of the sweetest people ever and her wax is obviously gorgeous. I mean, look at this stuff. Crazy. So these are all of the shapes. And, and this one is all of the clamshells. So normally, um, I do clamshells in the under the bed organizers, but since this stuff was already here, I like to keep it together. And I didn't really have a problem putting the clamshells in here anyway, so it was no big deal. Now, most of these are from the Halloween collection because that's when I went crazy and bought um, a lot of stuff. So most of these are from that collection, but then I do have some from the Alice in Wonderland collection. Very few from the Easter and Valentine's Day collections. Um, you know, she mostly does, like, for the big collections or the Halloween and then the summer um, mermaid stuff. That Those are her biggest collections. Well, Alice in Wonderland is actually pretty big, too. Um, so I have some sitting on top. And then when you take those off, you can see the ones that are standing up on the bottom here. So some of them do have labels on them for scent descriptions, but I stopped doing that because I think it just looks messy and I don't really like it. I actually been meaning to take the rest of those off. But um, my bathing garden collections weren't too long ago, so if you're really interested in some of the scents, you can go ahead and look there. All right, this next one is up the creek. So I have a feeling I'm going to need a bigger drawer or at least another drawer. Uh, for Up the Creek because I do have another order coming in and then I have all this stuff. So I feel that Up the Creek is one of the most underrated vendors in the world. 
Um, her stuff has always been so consistently amazing for me. Her blends are on point. Her oils are on point. Everything always arrives nice and neat and beautifully wrapped. Um, and she's really been branching out lately. She's doing scoopables. She's doing different shapes, pies. She's doing loaves, uh, which really excited me. Um, what else? Candle. She does decorative candles. She does the regular white ones, which I've showed you guys before. She does a whole bunch of stuff. So many different shapes, so many different sizes. And um, she's always ready to ship. She doesn't really do pre-orders. It's mostly all ready to ship. So what's on her website is what you can get. Um, she also does brittle, which you can do custom, which really isn't a pre-order um, because it doesn't take her that long, you know, to, to do it. So you can do customs with her plain brittle. Uh, plain meaning it's just plain white. And um, it's just, you know, you could do 8 ounce or 16 ounce. And then the loaves are also ready to ship. They're not custom. So I just have a bunch of packs here. I just did a bunch of, um, you know, a haul on up the creek. So I'm not going to bore you going through all the scents again. <laughs> okay. This next one is Damon Duchess. Now I will say that Damon Duchess, um, along with Birdies Making Sense, has some of the most realistic um, bakery shaped items I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, their stuff is absolutely amazing. I have gotten nice strong throws with everything that I've tried. Their stuff is beautiful to look at. So yummy, so realistic. I love her bakery scents. Um, I cannot wait until she reopens. She's been closed for a really, really, really long time and I really hope that they reopen soon. I love their stuff and it's so, so cool looking. Like I love everything. Okay, really quickly, this next one is Zen Wax, which I have talked about before, but I haven't gotten any new orders in, because every time I go on the website, it seems to have the same stuff that it had, you know, every other time I went on the website, um, which is like fall stuff still. <laughs> um, so I really like her stuff. This is basically all fall. Um, her stuff is gorgeous. It's beautiful when it melts. Nice and strong scent throw. There hasn't been anything so far that I've tried that has not been really strong. Um, so if you're looking for fall scents right now, she's the one to go to. Um, you guys have seen this before. Nothing has changed. So again, I'm not going to bore you with that. All right. This next one here is with Envy and I have talked about with Envy numerous times. I love with Envy. Her stuff is adorable. She does a ton of different bakery shapes like the cinnamon rolls. This whole row here is all cookies. I'm sorry. This is really hard to like get into, but yeah, th these are all cookies scent shots. And then I have, um, some popcorn here. Her stuff smells amazing. It's been really, really strong. Um, I think there's been one or two things that haven't been super impressive, uh, but for the most part, I've been extremely, extremely happy with her stuff, and I really need to place another order very soon. Um, she's getting, like, really popular now, so unfortunately, it's kind of hard to order from, uh, but yeah, I love her stuff. All right, this last drawer here is basically empty. This is just Magnolia Melts. Um, the reason that it's in here is because in my, you know, random vendor clamshell thing, um, they don't fit. Well, actually, they probably can now. I think I'll be able to put them away now. Um, they were actually with uh, Back 40 Wax and Vapid Wax. I had them all together in one drawer, but I ended up moving them because I realized I could fit them into a smaller drawer. So I think what I'm going to do is take these out, put them in there. Um, I just did a whole review on Magnolia Melts, so you guys can go ahead and watch that. I, I literally just did it, so I don't want to reiterate myself already. Um, so, so far for the throw, though, um, I've only tried one, and it was okay. It was decent. It wasn't anything that another vendor can't do, though. Um, I think her stuff is pretty overpriced as well. I know that she does charity um, and someone pointed out that it kind of makes sense because, you know, she can pocket some money as well as donating to charity. So it's kind of like a win-win for her if she ups the price. Um, but however, you know, donating to charity is donating to charity, which is pretty nice of her to do. Um, you know, so it is what it is. So um, once I melt some more of Magnolia Melts, I will let you guys know how I think about it. All right, so that is going to be it for part four. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, part five will be coming up very soon. So if I had to guess right now, it's definitely going to be at least six parts. Um, I don't see how I'm going to go through all of those under the bed organizers. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's seven of them. There's no way I can do that in another half hour video. I'll definitely need an hour. Um, so that's going to be it though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one. So stay safe, stay sane, and stay healthy. Thanks guys.